OpenAI reveals investment in a AI robot. This is direct competition with Elon Musk's Tesla bot. This artist collaborated with JC, but JC is an AI. It's rumored that ChatGPT is making about half a billion dollars a year. Microsoft Teams launched AI avatars. This may be the best ChatGPT prompt for self-improvement. What is on your ChatGPT wish list? Send me your honest idea. Here's how to turn YouTube videos into short narrated AI summary. This is the most disturbing AI video I've seen yet. OpenAI reveals investment in a AI robot. This is direct competition with Elon Musk's Tesla bot. This is not CGI. The race is on to release these AI bots for labor tasks and then develop it for a household robot. Last year, Goldman Sachs said that humanoid robots have the potential to become the next widely adopted devices after smartphones and cars. The company is called One X and they're also working on a humanoid robot with legs and hands. Here you can see that he's opening a window to a basement because he's trying to sneak in to play Fortnite. This artist collaborated with JC, but JC is an AI. Tell the young they can never become what they aspire to Born in a cell with no one who can inspire you Your highs are as never as high as those lie to you Pretending that they live in the sky lying behind your roof So good Shooting holes up at your ceiling Trying to find a proof Now JC didn't give permission to use his voice But they're saying that they're not gonna put this on the album They're not gonna copyright this But what do you guys think? Should it be allowed to use people's voices? Or comment down below, I'd love to know your opinion. I'm finding the coolest in AI every single day. All you need to get access is subscribe down below. It's rumored that ChatGPT is making about half a billion dollars a year. NF says, I don't know if this is true or not. They haven't told me, but I heard that they have between one and two million subscribers for ChatGPT+. Plus at $20 a month. So let's do some quick math. Let's say 1.5 million subscribers here at $20 per month is $30 million per month times 12, $360 million every year. It also says it'll be completely unsurprising if it has a billion monthly users and maybe 300 million daily users at the end of this year, and now he's talking about the free version. If a small percentage of them pay, it will be a billion dollar a year company. The UK treasury is offering 57,000 pounds for the head of cybersecurity. Seems a little bit low. This tweet went viral from Trung Fan on Twitter. This is around $71,000. You can see that you get 77K for chief digital information officer. And out of the 600 senior government roles in UK earning over 150,000 pounds, only one has cyber in the title. The entry level person hired for this role trying to figure out why the servers keep getting hacked. UK literally paying less than Chipotle managers me. It's even worse than their CBDC salary. They only have to be in grade seven through looking at the bottom of the ad. Sounds like they're calling for hackers. The treasury of the UK is empty anyways. <laughs> Microsoft Teams launched AI avatars. In the drop down menu, you, you can just click on effects and avatars and here you can have your own three different versions of like who you are right and as you can see here they can actually emote they can wave they can smile facial expressions and everything like that so the use case is probably i got bad hair day can i be my avatar now and then you can just be your avatar and i think this looks really cool like you have a real person here you have a fake person in the top and you know, they kind of look like you in a sense. So this kind of, <laughs> this is so weird that maybe in the future, we're just going to talk with our avatars. And this is heavily going into the metaverse, a digital world where our bodies doesn't matter anymore. I love to see the before and after, but they don't have any good examples. If you have tried this yet, can you post it in the Discord down below? I'd love to see. This may be the best ChatGPT prompt for self-improvement. This guy, Ethan, wants to get better at negotiations. So he wrote the prompt, I want to practice about how to conduct negotiations. You will be my negotiation teacher. You will simulate a detailed scenario in which I have to engage in a negotiation. 
You will fill the role of one party. I will fill the role of the other. You will ask for my response to in each step of the scenario and wait until you receive it. After getting my response, you will give me details of what the other party does and says. You will grade my response and give me detailed feedback about what to do better using the science of negotiation. You will give me a harder scenario if I do well and an easier one if I fail. Look, it gives all of this like you're a small business owner that wants to negotiate a deal with a supplier for a lower price of a bulk order of widgets. And here you see the text that it's actually writing. And here he says, I want to pay $40,000 or I will walk. Then he basically says, I understand that you're looking for a better price, but our pricing is competitive and yada yada. Then it grades it a level C. It also gives it a feedback of, hey, it was too aggressive and confrontational, which can damage the relationship with the supplier. Instead of giving an ultimatum, <laughs> try to create an environment of collaboration and problem solve. It also gives a better response. To me, this is just one step of all of phone sales just being automated. What is on your chat GPT wish list? Send me your honest ideas. That's what Logan GPT on Twitter said. And the responses are pretty good for it to generate images as output. Sharing plus multiplayer. Personal note taker for all video and audio interaction and breaks it down to different sections. Searchable history, searchable tags for conversation, mark favorites, longer login sessions available via top bar menu, better PVA for mobile, if not a native app. Ability to save and select different personas that you can define by providing a prompt. Self-harm suicide risk detection. And it claims that there's an article bouncing around claiming someone was encouraged by an AI chat tool. What? Share a chat URL so it retains the history and others can look and use. Android app and Chrome extension like Grammarly. Open source. Here's how to turn YouTube videos into short narrated AI summary. Step number one, go to your favorite YouTuber and click on their video. Step number two, download this YouTube subtitle downloader. Step number three, just click on the subtitle downloader, click on TXT and download. Step number four, copy the text and just paste it directly into chat with the prompt, write headlines for each component and summarize each component of this article. Click on enter and it's gonna start writing. Download Download the read aloud Chrome extension, select the entire thing, and just click on read aloud. Merging AI with computer vision for incredible results. This component discusses the integration of chat GPT with computer vision technology to allow it to answer questions based on visual input. So now you don't have to listen to my annoying voice. This is way better. The humanoid robot powered by chat GPT. This section highlights Amica. You're welcome. This is the most disturbing AI video I've seen yet. It's called Octopus Dinner. Bro gave up on fishing and said, I'd, I'm a descend. Grab him by the octopusy. Please don't stop. Also, don't improve. This is peak. That's some nightmare fuel. I love how Shutterstock is a central character. They can say whatever they want. No other AI offers this. I hope I fueled your nightmare there. ChatGPT knows nothing about you. But what if you gave it all your data and could ask questions about it? That's what Rewind AI is trying to do. What if you had perfect memory and could ask any question about anything you've seen or heard? Here is a quick demo. Thousands of users use Rewind every day to search through their memories. What if we could ask Rewind any question about anything we've seen, said, or heard? How do I know Sam Altman? It says I was first introduced to Sam Altman through Paul Graham in 2010. 
and that he's an investor in our company. Well, oops, I probably should remember him. Here are the sources it used to come up with that answer. I can click on any of the sources to go directly to it in Rewind, or if I want to, I can open it directly in Chrome. Second, sometimes on Monday mornings, it's difficult to pick up where you left off the week before. Let's ask Rewind, what did I do last week? It says that last week I participated in several activities related to work. I had a marketing team meeting. I worked in Slack and I explored some pricing changes. And at one point I was working on the marketing website in Webflow and that's exactly where I needed to pick up. And down below here are the sources it uses to come up with that answer. Lastly, let's show how Rewind can really serve as a co-pilot for your mind. Let's ask it how we made a decision. We asked it, how did you decide to name this feature ChatGPT for me? It answered that the decision to name the feature was a result of discussions and with several potential names, including Ask Rewind, Rewind GPT, and ChatGPT for me. How does this all work? When you ask a question, only the text of the most relevant moments from your past are sent to GPT-4. GPT-4 processes your question and the text of the relevant moments and an answer is sent back to Rewind. Rewind processes the answer and provides links to local recorded data for you to view as sources. With ChatGPT for me, we are taking a giant leap toward our vision of giving humans perfect memory. I would love to train it so it remembers everything from my past. It's kind of like having a personal assistant that's like your clingy ex. I'm finding the coolest in AI every single day. All you need to get access is subscribe down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.